In this video, we'll be setting up a John Deere Ray Controller 2000 for a pull type liquid sprayer. First, we will go to the setup tab. And then on the implement tab, it'll show your profile name and machine type. We have the option of adding a new or changing this profile. We can edit this profile or remove it. Ray Controller 2000, when you make a new piece of equipment or edit it, it will walk you through a wizard. So for this scenario, we'll just go ahead and edit. Accept. So on the main page here, this is the profile name. So we'll just leave it as sprayer. Machine type is a pull behind sprayer and our application width is 100. The next is the product RPM, so we'll just use liquid on this, on the application mode. And then now we'll set up our sections, so we'll enter how many sections your sprayer has, what your valve types are, three wire, two wire, and then uh, you have the option of making equal widths, or you can take that out and individually set up the widths and enable your friend's throw nozzles if your sprayer is equipped with them. On this page, we'll set up our fence row drivers, which that is just telling you which wires in the system that will send signal to your fence row shutoffs. These do default from section driver 17 and 18 on your wiring system. And then we set up our section widths. And then we set up our sections. And on this page, it's just a, your sections overview of your width and what products and what drivers are being used. We'll hit the next. Now we'll set up the pressure sensors if your sprayer is equipped with them. You can uh, have different options. So if you only had one, you can shut this one off. We'll go ahead and go next. This is your alarm page, so you can set up for minimum pressures and your maximum pressures and turn on your alarms so when your pressure drops below 12, it'll, it'll alert you. We'll go to the next page. This is your um, auxiliary function, so if you had an agitator installed, you can turn it on. It'll tell you the duty cycle, or if you had a flow return installed, you can highlight it here. And these are your... If you had a tiered boom system, you can have up to two tiers on it, so three different booms. You could set the desired flow rates to when they turn on here. And now we start into the control valve setup. So you can either pick uh, fast close, PWMs, we'll just use standard today. You'll plug in your valve response rate, and control dead band. This is about the valve response rate is the speed of how fast and your valve opens and closes. And the dead band is just the percentage of the let it get out of out of range for so long before it'll actually tell the valve to open or close. And this is if you had a PWM valve, you can set it up with your coil frequencies and your limits. And then here's your flow meter calibration. And the flow meter pulse units for deer we use 10 gallon. And these are your tank capacities so you can enter what volume your tank actually holds and your current levels and then you have your low tank alarm that you can set and then if your system set up with the tank field monitoring system you can highlight it here and then this is if you if your sprayer is set up with a flow meter to actually keep track of the volume that you're putting into the system, this is where you'd add your calibration numbers. And then now we'll set up our rates. So these are your predefined rates. And then you can set up a rate bump for whatever gallons you want. And then rate smoothing can be adjusted and turned on here as well. And now we've got our off-target rates. It's just 
it'll just alarm you if your system gets whatever percentage you put in here off a target rate it'll it'll send an alarm and on this page is the setup summary so it'll tell you what we just set up here so you got to pull behind sprayer one product five sections now that the setup wizards done we'll move on a little bit more onto this page is we do have a section setup summary it shows us our application widths and we have two fence row nozzles installed but this will just show you what how many products and sections you have it's just an overview and then we can set a test speed down here that'll uh, simulate speed if you're setting still and it is cleared when you uh, once the tractor moves next we'll go to the settings tab now that the wizards complete there's some of these that we can still change so you can change your valve response rates on the valve setup tab and we can change the flow rate calibration flow meter calibration and tank setup and then on your display you can change what you see from this page and then we move on to the alarms which we set up earlier but you can change them if you don't like how it's set and then we have the rates tab as well so you can set up your predefines or your rate bump next we'll move on to the totals tab on the right and on this page you'll get to see the total totals for everything you've done with product one and you can reset it down here and then your device will tell you the the hours and acres that have been applied with this machine in its lifetime next we'll go to the diagnostics tab to the right and the first tab is your readings so this kind of, it'll give you sensor readings um, if your sensors are turned on the next one is the test. This is where you can run control valve tests, nozzle flow checks, and your catch tests for your calibrations or your applied calibrations for your flow meters will be on this page. Next is that system summary that we had when we went through the wizard. And then we have uh, a product summary that will show you what how everything's set up. Next, we'll move to the rate controller main page. We'll walk through some of this. So you can set up your rate from here with this tab as well. Change some of your bin settings. You can choose predefined. We don't have any RXs set, but and then you've got a quick start that will apply product to your system while you're setting still to charge your boom. And on this page, we could do the uh, refill your tank. Enter your, if you did a full refill, or you can put in, uh, say we only put 250 gallons in, we could put it there. And then we can change the display settings again from this tab here, kind of like we did earlier. And then we've got a your tank or bin charge tab on this one as well. We'll hit accept. We can do the same thing with your tank refill by touching this tank here on the screen. It will let us refill it or put in current level gallons. And let's start up here on the top again. These are your sections. You'll be able to see what sections are turned on when you're going through the field. The same with right here. We have our actual gallons being applied. We'll show on this one and this is your target rate. This button will change it from manual to automatic. And then in manual mode, you'll be able to open your control valve or close it, whatever you need to do. It'll show your gallons per acre being applied. And then this button here is your master on and off. It'll shut that product off. And then this area shows you gallons per minute, acres an hour. This is where we changed it. We have the option to change these and this as well down here at the bottom we can scroll down and pick what you'd like to see on these and with that we've set up our john deere rate controller 2000